The Castle of Owl Pendragon, or Owl Jenkins, depending on which door you find yourself having a knock. May not be in the classic style we are used to, but with no doubt is the most famous castle in the world of Japanese animation. The protagonist of Howl's Moving Castle, an amazing animated film by Miyazaki, based on the books of Diana Wine Jones, is Sophie, a girl a bit like Cinderella, cute, kind and with only one dress in her wardrobe. She lost her father and she works from morning to night in the head shop inherited from her parents, without receiving even a shred of overtime or bonuses, while her mother and sisters are always around to have a good time dresses up like Christmas trees. One day, during a trip to visit her sister Letty, Sophie is bothered by two gendarmes who want to seduce her by being total jerks and she rescued by a mysterious and beautiful boy because it will never happen in life that a girl in a movie is saved by an ugly man and the two takes a magical and wonderful walk in the sky before parting Sophie is already thrilled kinda like the spectators at the first projection of Fifty Shades of Grey once she returns to the store, she is visited by a lady with a triple chin and a lot of extra pounds, despite the obvious sauna that she is doing inside her full coat. The woman is none other than the Witch of the Moors, who knew of the meeting between Hal and the young hatter, and jealous she throw a curse that turns her into an old woman and prevents her from telling the truth. Scared to face her family, Sophie runs away, giving up an early retirement pension, deep discounting shop reserved for people over 60, or courses taken at the University of the Third Age. While fleeing from the city, she involuntarily free Scarecrow, animated by magic, that she nicknamed Turnipset, which leads her to the Castle of Owl, a magical building that can move and is walking in the moors. This castle looked like a Lego building put up by a three-year-old child, who then painted it with tar. But if the outside seemed bizarre, the inside looked like a normal home, with the only difference that inside is the nightmare of every cleaning lady, a special chaos and an indescribable dirty. Here the woman meets Calcifer, the fire demon who takes the form of a flame with eyes, mouth and pencil hands, who makes a pact with the fake elderly. If she breaks the curse that binds him to Owl, from which the demon says he was subdued, he will dissolve the one launched on Sophie, because he is a super cool demon and he soon understands that she is the victim of a spell. The woman decided to convince Owl to let her stay in the castle and get tired as a cleaning lady, with the disbelief of Markle, the young boy Owl keeps as an apprentice. Despite the curse, Sophie fits very early in the life of the castle. Nosing around, she discovers that the front door is magic. Well, you're in the home of a magician after all, and it leads to four different places depending on the color you choose in the panel next to the door. Red, yellow, green and black. Ranging from a sea village to the mountain, through the land, up to a place where Howard tries to fight the war under the guise of a bird with black feathers. But for him, it's more and more difficult to turn into himself again. One day, Howell is summoned by the royal palace to take part in the war, in all his aliases. But he did not want to be seen as an active man, despite his pigeon-like combat skills, so he sent Sophie to pretend to be his mother in order to convince the king to desist in his convocation. Here Sophie meets Saliman, the fearsome and powerful sorceress of the court, who tells her how the disappearance of the crown prince Justin plumped the war. Also the witch of the Moors decided to visit Saliman, but she is immediately punished by the woman, who transforms her into a harmless old lady without power and almost no memory. Ha! Karma. However, Owl bursts into the room and saves the girl, who runs away with the old witch of the wasteland and a dog, because an airy mascot is always helpful. Meanwhile, Sophie, almost without even realizing it, is a shifting from old to young, setting finally for the appearance of a girl with silver hair. Soon we realize that there is something sweet between Howl, who meanwhile has dyed his hair black because it's better to change, and Sophie, to which the magician gives a very cool garden. But Saliman manages to reach the two and forces the mother of Sophie to put an insect spy, but it is soon discovered by the Witch of the Moors, who is not a fool despite her old and docile appearances, and throws it into Calcifer to destroy it. Unfortunately, this sickened the poor fire demon, because Eating a strange magic insect is not recommended by the association of doctors. War also reaches the moving castle, but Owl 
says he's ready to fight, having finally found someone to protect the girl. To cover their tracks, Sophie suggests Calcifer to leave his place and thus destroy the castle. So at least they won't have to pay the taxes on the house. Thanks to the braided hair Sophie gives him, Calcifer regains his strength and creates a mini castle to go helping Owl. But the old witch of the wasteland proves once again she's not quite senile and understands that the heart of Owl resides in Calcifer and, under the fixation she had on the man, she tried to grab it. To save the two from burning, Sophie tried to quench the fire with water, but this weakened the poor Calcifer, and the girl began to despair, believing she has killed the handsome magician. However, the ring Howell donated to the girl starts to shine. The sorcerer wasted no time, eh? As a first gift, a very cool garden and a ring! Not bad. Sophie is sucked into the past where she sees Howl making the contract with Calcifer, a young shooting star. Before returning to her times, she yells at the two that she will save them. Finally, the old witch springs the bone and Calcifer, or Owl's heart, is put back in the chest of his own. Fire Demon goes back to the original form and flies away, but now the remains of the just devastated castle are likely to end down a precipice. Then comes the turnip head, the scarecrow we met at the beginning of the movie, who sacrifices himself to stop the fall. To thank him, Sophie gives him a kiss. Maybe a little glue for repair was better, but oh well. And this kiss breaks the spell by revealing that he was the crown prince Justin, who had been cursed by a witch. Damn, it's a dangerous place. Wherever you turn, there is a witch ready to transform you into something. However, all well that end well, and Justin goes back to the palace to end the war, and so Calcifer returns to his friends. So we can enjoy the ending, where we see a new moving castle, this time cleaner, inhabited by Markle, the old dog, the witch, and our Sophie, which we see kissing on a balcony while the castle is flying in the sky. Now please, don't get out in the garden to see if you can spot how moving castle in the distance these days to avoid taxis it's definitely in stealth mode mm -hmm.